What's going on, YouTube? This is Joe Man Twenty Three Seventeen back with another video. This time on the Revol uh, Speed uh, Revolution Speed that came from Riddell. This I think it came out in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, two thousand seven. Uh, I may be wrong on that, but it's been out for quite a while now. I've had this uh, Speed played on it a little bit, um, but yeah, pretty much just gonna go over a review on it. My own review. I know there's tons of videos on this, but you know, here's mine. So we're gonna go over viewing, heat management, impact, and looks pretty much, I guess. All right, so we'll start with uh, the technology that's behind this helmet would prop be, it's just a standard foam padding underneath the airliner. The airliner is what makes this helmet comfortable. And you kind of feel the hits and you kind of don't. So, I mean, it doesn't really have like that new TPU that you got on your shuts for uh, the DCT TPU that, you know, has for low impact and higher impact collisions. Uh, as you can see on my standard revolution, you have the standard padding. The foam padding that is underneath that uh airliner that's in the speed now i have a standard uh soft cuff chin strap it's an adams it's, you know it's you know I, I don't know why but i like this chin strap uh, it's very comfortable it's just it's very soft and you know it's, it's just overall comfortable so that's what i get, just use with the standard chin uh chin pad uh chin sleeve whatever you want to call it now this uh face mask that i have particular is um custom face mask you can get it on your helmet your way.com if you're interested in looking at this face mask for like fullbacks and linebackers it's uh, forty dollars plus shipping now the visor I have on here is a tinted visor it's a mirror visor actually As you can see see the reflection on that it looks beast you see the bull ring on the face mask so I mean the viewing angle on this particular face mask isn't the best because it's mainly for protection more unlike uh, if you have the two bar with just one bar here so you have these two bars one bar instead of these two you have one bar two bars here and the viewing angle is much bigger um, compared to those those have more viewing angle and you, you can get those on Riddell's website uh, now I can show you the regular foam pattern that's on here you can see regular foam padding now this airliner does get messed up within a couple times of washing uh, because I don't know about you guys but I clean my helmet I like to have it you know I mainly clean it so it doesn't smell because I don't like the, you know, the sweat, sweating smell. So this, the S pads or the Z pads, whatever they're called, um, they're fairly comfortable. I mean, I know how the 360s is, but I know that these ones, I mean, the, the thing I like about these is when you're sweating, it's very easy to slide it right into your head. Uh, but I have realized within when you're sweating, these do deflate. I know the 360 ones deflate, so I mean that's a downside on that. Also, um, when they deflate, your helmet becomes loose. Same with the padding. The padding, when it gets hot, it gets, you know, it's outside, it may be 109 degrees. Inside your helmet, it's like 115 degrees hot. You know, you can see it raises up higher, and the padding doesn't do its well protection like it's supposed to when it's that hot. So there's the heat management. It's it's fairly good. It's not as good as like DNAs or ions, like shut helmets, because they're they don't have an airliner and you know they have more openings for air and ventilation to come through. Don't know on Zenith because I really don't have Zenith. Uh, but yeah, we'll go over shell design. Now these shell designs to have an aggressive and you know that aggressiveness and it's. A higher standoff shelf. Uh, don't have one by me, but you can see this one. This is also a high standoff. You can see the padding is fairly thick. Uh, this 
the standoff, higher standoff means there's the shell is bigger in itself. That way, it allows for more uh, protection, more padding to be stored in there. So this, these pads, is the same pads that are in the Revolution. You see the thickness. These are thicker. These are less. These are less thick, but you also have an airliner. So which makes this more of a snug fit. It's kind of what you want on a helmet is a snug fit. Uh, you got the two quick release points on the helmet. I really think that's all you need. I don't for Riddell. I mean, they do uh, for the 360. They do have a, uh, the second one here, so it eliminates the uh, loops on the front. Uh, that does take impact. It does absorb by 10% or 15, I think, if I'm not mistaken. It does take about 15% more impact, frontal impact, because it goes to the sides. But I mean, if you're talking about like a player being knocked out or whatever, uh, this is quicker than the uh, 360 because. The fact that you just uh, take these two out and you're able to slide the face mask, you know, out instead of hitting all four because you can't really slide it this way. So you're gonna have to hit both uh, four quick release points in order to take the face mask on 360. And on this one, you just these two and it pops right out. Uh, so I mean that's good for you know concussion wise and safe safetyness on the helmet. Um, it's light. That's one thing I really like about this helmet. It's the lightest helmet that I know that is out. Other than this Revolution, it, this one does feel feel fairly heavier. I know the 360 is heavier than this one. 360 is one of the heaviest helmet, helmets there is. But this one is really light. So, I mean, if you're looking for light a light helmet, this would, would definitely go with this uh, helmet. If that's what you care a lot about is weight this you know would do good uh don't want to miss anything else uh, there is six air vents on top plus the ear one for the ear so you can hear you do have the airliners so you can pump the helmet right there or invitations one on top there now on the ears for the uh, jaw pads uh, you can do a high point hookup does it have uh, for a low point hookup uh, so yeah thanks for watching stay tuned for more peace